Hello everybody, this is Steven, Xbox Gamertag XPR Roadrunner, and uh, welcome to my Minecraft world. This is a massive community world project that I am currently working on. As soon as uh, certain bugs get fixed, I'll get into that a little bit later, but anyways, for the time being, I'm going to give you a short tour of, uh, of the world here. Uh, so we have our spawn hotel. This is the spawn point in the world. Um, with the help of my friends, we made a little spawn hotel. Basically, just when people get in here, that uh, they don't get screwed over immediately. So there's some you know, tools here and there, some food. And if it just so happens to be in the night, we got a little zombie door here. Uh, you know, some stuff if they needed crafting. And most importantly, we got some beds up here so they can set their spawn without dying. Again, some more food stuff and a little bit of uh, some materials if they need it. Now, you come on here, you see this very enticing little jungle here. Uh, that's not where we are going at this point. Basically, when I first started this map, I wanted to find the closest village to spawn point. Uh, so I found one. Uh, you'll see where it is eventually. And uh, it's quite far from here. Then I found the next one, which is where we're heading off to. And that's also sort of far away, and that's the second one. It wasn't until a couple months later, because I started this essentially when Minecraft came to Xbox One, because we are running on Xbox One, as you can see. Ah! Um, so there was and is still a village in the desert biome sort of in that direction there that's actually really close to spawn point and I'm sort of ashamed to admit that we haven't started there but anyways like I said let's start so when we, new players come into the world here we're gonna head on over to the little town which I like to call Plymouth Bay uh, if you haven't already noticed uh, Judging by my gamer tag, I am a Chrysler fan through and through. Uh, don't judge me on that. Okay, we all have our we all have our opinions, but most of the names and places that are in this world are Chrysler related. Um, so we have uh, Plymouth Bay, then we have Roadrunner Springs, which is the first village that I uh, founded in this world. But we are heading over to Plymouth Bay first. Now my plan is to have a rail system that goes from the spawn hotel to Plymouth Bay because Plymouth Bay is the starting map that we're all going to be uh, going to and starting rules and stuff. I'll get into that a little later. Basically I want to have a world with a working economy and a working sort of uh, hierological system uh, with uh, different roles like farmers, uh, traders, traders, not traitors, um, and so on and so forth. And I think you're still gonna go this way a little bit. It's been a while since I've actually taken this route. I know that there's this jungle here that I th think I don't really have to go through. Huh. We'll figure that out in a bit, I guess. It's okay, I know where I am anyways. I know everything around this journal vicinity. So, basically, it's almost dead east of uh, Spawn Point. So that we are heading in an easterly direction. Uh, this looks right. So I'm going to keep going this way. Actually, no, that's a lie, because... Huh. Well. <laughs> this is going to be fun. It's okay, I'm not lost. Per se. I know where I'm going. Because this dune is not supposed to be here. Pretty sure I'm a little south of where I need to be. I'll figure that out really quickly as soon as I get over this dune. Ah, 
Ah! That's a lie. I am way north of where I need to be. That's something that we're going to be showing you in a little bit, so you didn't see that at all. I wonder how the heck I managed to do that. See, now that's where we need to be, except I'm just going to take the approach that players would be taking. Uh, also, if you had noticed, just for the tour's sake, I have it in peaceful. We do have it set on a non-peaceful difficulty. Usually easy because we're still in the building point. I'll probably have it on normal once we actually get the community world going. We're still in the setup stages. Um, although we are almost there. Got one or two pieces left to settle and hammer out before we get the world starting. But really that's made on one glitch which I sh will be showing you guys how to do it. Not in this video and another one down the road, but it's basically a glitch um, that Mojang I don't think has addressed yet as of this video, uh, as of this recording. Basically you uh, mine a block and then you can place it back immediately, but you accidentally create a duplicate in your hand whilst still placing one, so you end up getting one. So if you have, say, a block of diamond or iron, gold, etc, etc, you can exploit the system. Anyways, welcome to Plymouth Bay, established 2014, July, wherever the heck it was that Minecraft came out. August. Anyways, so this is where the rail system's gonna end. So I have mined out quite about, uh, I'll say about, as of this point, about halfway, a little more than halfway. Um, but anyway, so we have Plymouth Bay here. The first village that I found. Sorry, I should say the second village that I found. And uh, so we got a little beacon tower that you can see from quite a fair distance away. Um, sort of to draw guys in. Um, we have, uh, basically this is the original, or some of what's left of the original village original NPC village. Uh, so you got the church here, uh, we have the library here. Uh, this was another library, I think? I don't remember if we took this stuff out. No, this is just a generic house. Um, this village did not have a blacksmith. Uh, it was basically just these two, the church, and a couple of random little buildings, these guys here. Um, these two are remaining, but we wanted to build up the village, um, eventually getting some villagers to mate and have a lot of villagers so that people who get here can trade their stuff for some currency. Um, but uh, when we were setting it up, we didn't trap the villagers inside the houses, so eventually some of them got turned and we're only down to about three or four now. Uh, despite our best odds, we've actually, we were able to uh, save a couple of villagers from being permanently zombified and getting killed by these absolutely useless iron golems. But, oh, and if you also haven't noticed, this is the city texture pack. Uh, I had purchased a few of the texture packs uh, back in the 360 days, so I decided to transfer them over. Um, so basically, this is one of the little base of operations. This is picked one of the little huts. And as you can see, I've been quite busy with stuff. Uh, no, that's a furnace. Some other stuff. Um, I've used some of these for the glitch. I hate having used glitches, but um, we decided just to keep uh, sort of an inventory of the economy-related materials. So in this case, we're going to be using iron, gold, emerald, and diamond. For a currency, um, again, I'll explain more once we get more into the stages of it. Um, I guess I can show you. This is what I like to call my little cartography room. This is the maps that I've explored thus far. 
so this one here is the spawn. Uh, can't really see it so well, but spawn point is about there where the cursor is right now. And we are all the way over here where the cursor is now. The first village I actually found, I went all the way up through there and I ended up going all the way here. Where the cursor is right now is where Roadrunner Springs is. There's a desert temple over here somewhere, which is the first thing that I found that was naturally existing. Uh, so that was, that was interesting. So we had a little settlement there for a while and then found uh, this place here. There's another desert temple here, roughly. And there's another desert temple, I think it was here, roughly there. Um, I have yet to explore the rest of that map, but I know what the majority of it is. It's basically um, more of a swampy, plainy lands, and then ocean for as far as you can see. I think it's about two or three map distances before you actually hit something. Um, this is sort of the same thing. There's another little bit of a uh, taiga and uh, a little bit of a plains, but the rest of that north of where this little settlement is, which, sorry, I should say not settlement, future settlement uh, is going to be. Um, so basically everyone's going to be starting here. Everyone's going to come here, do their own little thing, and if they choose to go to the next city, which is called Dust Witch, uh, basically it is roughly here. This whole area here is going to be, actually it's more like this area here, it's going to be known as Dust Witch, it's going to be like Desert City, similar to like, uh, I guess like Dubai or Abu Dhabi. But that's what the plan is so far. Uh, I'll take you there in a second. I'm not going to take you to Roadrunner Springs just simply because there's nothing there. It's just basically a NPC village that has been overrun. <laughs> uh, the villagers all died. They all got converted to zombies and all got dead. So, not going there because it's ghost town for the time being. So I'll take you a little bit more of a tour. So this is going to be uh, Brewer's uh, place, so people are going to have specific roles like I've said in the video. This is going to be the Brewer's thing, so basically brewing potions for money. A um, couple of villager settlements. Then these are the first of the houses that we decided to build that were sort of in the spirit of the naturally occurring uh, villager NPC buildings. So this is the first few. Uh, as you can see, this is we got made a little park here. Um, this is the second one. This is the engineers and cartographer or some sort. Where I've, it's going to be one of them's engineering, the other one's something else. Um, this is uh, Overdrive. Uh, I'll link you to his channel down below. We're gonna we work together quite a lot on a lot of stuff. I've been featured in some of his videos, uh, and likewise he'll be featured in some of mine. We're gonna work together to do a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of uh, form a lot of the uh, club members that are part of XPR. I'm part of XPR. Uh, we all sort of pitched in on some things here. There's Bank, which Overdrive's working on. Um, that's the uh, hotel. Um, this here, back here, is the farm. This is the farmhouse. Uh, so basically, anything you you'd need is all here. Um, well, this is probably the farthest, except for maybe the bank from like an NPC village. Grab this. This is my Bavarian chalet, which really is going to be the baker bakery. Uh, the baker would be living here and do business out of here. Um, not quite finished, not quite furnished. Uh, then we have the uh, watchtower, which is, I think is going to be the de facto something or other. <laughs> uh, then we have the prison and the police station back here. So 
So, again, these cells aren't finished yet, but basically if anyone does any wrongdoing, they'll be placed in jail and theoretically they won't be able to get out. So these are the jail cells here. Uh, there's three of them. Like I said, they haven't been finished yet because I want to make these out of obsidian so no one can get out and be funny and line the whole place with obsidian. Um, there's nothing behind here. Uh, I have places walled off, or fenced off I should say, for uh, houses. So these are going to be, if people wanted to build their own houses, then that's fine. Um, also we're going to have houses built by the state. Um, again, all these things, if, if you have no idea what's going on, I'm going to be making a whole video later on about all the rules and stuff. Um, but they'll be available for purchase, so people that don't necessarily want to build a house, they just kind of want to do their own thing, they can do that. So then uh, we have the uh, the mayor, uh, Duke of Bruno. Uh, that's his gamer tag, Duke of Bruno. Uh, this is his place. He's going to be doing his own thing. He's going to be building uh, a patented pending uh, Bruno Tower off in the distance here. Uh, then this here is the uh, enchanting slash nether portal uh, room. So we got our uh, enchantment table here and we got our nether portal here. Um, I'm not going to go into the nether just simply because I haven't really done anything in the nether. Uh, this portal pretty much takes you right to a uh, short, very short walk to the nether fortress. Um, uh, so yeah, it's not really, there's no adventure to get to it, it's really just, it's there. Um, so then, over here, we have the bay. So it wouldn't really be called Plymouth Bay if it didn't have a bay. It's a shallow bay for the most part, there's some areas that are relatively deep, but basically this is just going to be where all the boats are going to be parked. Or docked, I should say, not parked. I'm not talking about cars here. Uh, if you're asking why there's that tower there, that's all the different colors of wool. The, the achievement for that. Um, so it's just for people who want to uh, get that achievement, they can just mine all that and then get the achievement. Um, uh, one thing I should also say is that this world is a survival world. It is not creative. So everything you see here was mined, crafted, and built by hand. This map will never ever see creative, possibly until I get all my achievements. Um, there aren't a f many left. Basically the ones with the end, because I haven't bothered to do that yet. This is the lighthouse. Um, during the night, you will see it <coughs> a lot better. But also I have to activate this because every time a uh, chunk loads, the circuit stops. Um, basically, this is just, you know, you have a little cart, goes around, and goes around, and goes around, and goes around, and goes around. And it just hits the lights in order. I know there's different redstone styles of doing that, well that's just the one that I chose, just because I like that style. Of course, if you're watching this and you are a PC player, of course, uh, you'll go, oh, there's a different ways of doing it. Yeah, there's different ways of doing it, but the console simply can't handle it. Um, there are repeating circuits that do exist, but they lag up the, uh, the thing at the game and all that stuff at some point. And you have to reset it anyways every time you get into the world. Um, that's another drawback from the console version. There's no servers or anything like that, so it just does, doesn't live on forever. Basically, whenever I'm in here is basically when it turns on. Um, so this is that for the time being. This is pretty much all of Plymouth Bay. There's a couple of doodads and doohickeys in here. There's a mine. Um, Actually, there's a couple of mines. Uh, there's one... I think I passed it. Yes, I did. There's uh, this original mine here. This When I got here, it was pretty weird. As you can see, I w didn't do this by hand, by the way. 
<laughs> like that kind of just spawned in there. These are the bottoms of the existing uh, uh, NPC village buildings. Um, there's a mine down there eventually that leads to a uh, sorry, an abandoned mine shaft. Uh, then across uh, the bay, there's another uh, mining complex there that I've built. South of Plymouth Bay is a quarry. Um, if you don't know what a quarry is, basically it's just a very large hole in the ground that you just continuously dig down to. So now we're going to head off to Dustwich. And this is going to be the next city that it, people can choose to move on. Well, I was going to say the second city. Eventually there will be a lot of cities within the states and people can choose to move on uh, to these other places. Uh, again, these are there are rules that there will be in place to doing this. Basically, you'd have to sell or find a willing person to take on your business there, sell your stuff, uh, house and whatnot, and permanently relocate over here. You can still do business with other villages. So say if you were a farmer in Dustwich and you wanted to uh, sell your stuff to people who live in Plymouth Bay, there's absolutely no problem with doing that. So this is the village that you may have accidentally seen when I was trying to find my way to Plymouth Bay from Spawn Hotel. This is the desert city that we will be making. As of this point, <clears throat> as of this point, Plymouth Bay is the most complete. Only a couple of things that need to be left uh, to create uh, the rails one, and I think really that's really it. Major functionality-wise, anyway. <sighs> so this is pull. Sorry, this is dust wedge of what will be Dustwich, basically. I've marked out sort of the city routes, the city streets. Um, this is a, a, an island that I had to partially terraform out. Um, this uh, part of the river here, I had to terraform that out. Uh, this part wasn't connected, but behind this part of the island here uh, was uh, connected. This is the beginnings of my uh, uh, my permanent overground residence. I have a couple of secret places uh, underground. Um, this is another place that I've dig that I've dug out <clears throat> uh, dug out to complete this river um, to actually make it an island. Uh, there's another place down over on the other side, which is essentially the same thing. Um, if I had... I don't have any stuff on me. Oh, my uh, my helmet burst. Alright. Duly noted. Um, and I gotta put that bit of the road in. So basically this is just... Uh, it's basically just an empty shell for the time being in terms of where buildings are going to be. These are majority of these are going to be relatively high. Uh, on this island here. Uh, these are just uh, little uh, bases of operation here for the time being until I get my stuff completed over on the top of the hill there. So we go across the bridge here, the second bridge. Uh, basically this part of the city is going to be uh, mostly agricultural in nature. So the farms can be located on this side uh, simply because a desert looks odd to have a farm. Only works in the villager, or the, the uh, NPC villages, but of course those are NPC, NPC villages. Uh, and then on the other side where this bridge leads to is mainly going to be residential with condos, apartment buildings, etc, etc. Um, so basically this is just a quick tour of uh, of what uh, Community World 
I've got going here. I've yet to name the community village or the community world as a whole. Um, there's just so many choices. I haven't narrowed them down enough yet. But uh, yeah, so there, look forward to more videos that I have in the future about this, and we'll be uh, showing off more stuff. Uh, eventually, once we get the economy going, or say the uh, the stuff to get the economy going, and the community world will officially start. This is the development stage. Once we get into the the going stage, I guess uh, we'll be doing some episodes and stuff like that. So it'll be fun. All right. For now, this has been uh, Hirak Gaming, and I will see you guys later.